Hi guys, welcome to WebSense Pro. Welcome to another Shopify tutorial video. And in this video, I'll show you guys how you can add a stylish looking lookbook section to your Shopify store. So no matter you are using a paid theme or a free theme, you can add this section to your store really easily for free and enhance the UI user interface of your store, which will definitely help you to increase your store sales. Okay, so let me show you guys how the lookbook section actually looks like. So that's the lookbook section which you're seeing on the screen. Uh, I have this on my development store. So that's my development store. And on the bottom of my development store, I have this background image where I have these three products showing up and I have this marker which will take you to that specific product. So for example, if I click on that, it will take me to that product. Similarly, the other markers which I have will take you to those specific products. Now you can have your own custom image added and you can change the position of the markers all by using the customized settings. So you don't have to code anything. All you have to do is just change the position of these markers within the customized theme editor settings. So that's the customized settings which I have. And uh, that's my lookbook section. And in lookbook section, that's how you can change your background image. And you can also change the text size. So I have increased the text size to from 80% to 95%. And uh, you can hide the plus sign which I had within these markers. Actually, that looks uh, better than that, right? But I just want to show you guys what are the options which we have. So this red plus sign within the circle, you can change the color of that as well. So if you want it to be black, you can make it black and pin highlight color, change the pin highlight color to red if you want to or whatever color you like to have it. Icon color black, pin highlight was white. I like it that way much better. You can change the text color, which is showing on this box here. So if you want to change it to blue or you want to change the background color to something else. So all of these changes will be done within these theme customized settings. You don't have to play around with the code, any CSS or any liquid. All the settings will be changed within this uh, section settings. Size half. So if you want it to be displayed on half of the screen, you can do that as well inner padding so if you have if you want to adjust the inner padding again outer margin and on top of that if you want to add the custom css to match it with your theme you can add it here and the mobile css if you have css which you want to affect only on the mobile version you can add the css as well again the theme font option so if you want to override default theme font to change it to something else so I'm going to change it to, let's say mono. Now you can see that the font family has been changed to the mono. And similarly for the paragraph font, let's do that mono. And we can display other than product title, we can also display product description. So if I click on any of the block here, which is this one drop classic leather wireless charger i can add the description best product 50 percent off limited time offer so you can see that we have product title showing up and then we have product description showing up here and so this horizontal position and vertical position is if you want to change the position of the marker so let me show you how it's going to work so i'm going to just change the horizontal position to this. So you can see that my marker is moved from this to this and let's change it back to where it was. So that's how you can change the marker position and you can use your own custom image and position the markers. 39, 37%. I think that's the center of the product. So it looks much better. And we can also add more markers if we want. So in this lookbook section, I'm just going to click on add product 
and we'll have an option to add another marker. You can see that we have another marker showing up. So I'm just going to select the product and then I'm going to click on select here and change the horizontal position and vertical position to where my product is showing up within that image. Cool, right? So these are the settings. These are the functionalities which you will be getting in this lookbook section for free. Now let me show you how you can install that on your theme. And before moving on, make sure to subscribe the channel. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, I have created multiple sections for free and displayed that on my YouTube channel. As you can see on my screen, I have this video working, which is on auto loop. So if you want to add a video as a banner on your Shopify Dawn theme on all of the free themes, you can do that by implementing the tutorial. Link will be in the description. Similarly, I have transparent header, which I have created a tutorial and this sale badge, which is an animated sale badge where you have the option to display what's the percentage of your offering on your product. And you can also add custom text on your badge. By default, Dawn theme does not have that functionality. It will show up just the sale. The simple text it will show is sale. If you have the compare price added to your product page, again, if, uh, if these terms are not understandable for you, or if you're visiting this channel for the first time, you can check out other videos. I have created multiple videos to improve free themes of your Shopify store. And by implementing these tutorials, you can definitely enhance the layout of your free themes by adding more sections and functionalities, which by default doesn't come with the themes. Similarly, I have this icon slider and recently I have created a custom form tutorial. So if you are not tech savvy and if you don't want to code and still want to add custom fields to your contact forms, you can implement this by using that tutorial. It's a pretty cool tutorial where you don't have to code anything. All you have to do is just drag and drop. Just I showed you guys in the customized settings for the lookbook section. That's the contact form with tech sections, which I have created. Uh, again, link will be in the description. I'm not going to go over the other section settings. Just this video is just for the lookbook section. So without further ado, let's uh, start implementing that and start adding that on a fresh theme. So I'm going to click on exit here and install a fresh Dawn theme just to show you guys how it's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and click on add here to install a fresh Dawn theme. And it's being installed while it's being installed, guys. Uh, there's a limited time offer through which you can have your Shopify store free for three days and just for $1 a month after three days. So if you want to avail this offer, link will be in the description. Sign up through that link and you will have your store for just $1 a month. So don't delay and click on the link in the description. Okay, guys, our fresh Dawn 14.0.0 has been installed and I'm going to publish that. So click on publish, click on publish again. And our fresh Dawn theme has been installed. It's the latest version up to the date which I'm recording this video, which is 16 June when I'm recording this video, the latest version of Dawn is 14.0.0. Now let's preview how the default Dawn theme looks like. So that's how the default Dawn theme looks like. That's how the header and that's how the main banner image looks like. And you can make it, you can transform it by implementing the videos and tutorials which I have created to make it look something like this and even more better than this one. Okay, now I'm going to add a lookbook section on this one. And after adding the lookbook section, I'm going to add these three products and then link these products, right? So let's get into it. And uh, in order to do that, click on these three small dots and then click on edit code. And from edit code, I'm going to scroll down here, click on sections here, and then click on add a new section. We can name the section lookbook, click on done. And now that's the blog post, which you will find link in the description through which you can add this code to the newly created section, which we have. So I'm going to remove all the code, which is present here and then copy this code by clicking on copy code button and then paste it here. After pasting the code, click on save. And that's it. Our section has been added. Now all we have to do is set the background image, 
set the markers to make it look good and link it to the product. So let's do that. Click on these three small dots again and then click on customize theme. I'm going to open that in a new tab. And let's click on add section here and then search for lookbook. And here's our section called lookbook. Click on the lookbook section. And now we will first add the image. So I already have that image. You can use your own custom image if you want to. So which image which I had? Okay. I'm going to find that image which we were using before. So that's the image which we were using. Let's select that one. Click on done. And now let's place the first marker to the center here and then link that marker to that specific product which is showing up on the image, right? So let's do that. Let's click on this backward arrow and from this product block, click on that product block and I'm going to change the vertical position to make it a little lower. Okay. Change the horizontal position to move it to the right. And now it's showing up on the center of the product image which we have here. And now let's select the same product. So that's the product. Click on select. And now you can see it automatically is showing up the product title, right? We can add the description if you want, maybe 10% off or whatever you want to add as a description to make it look more attractive. And now let's do the same for these two products. Click on add product and then select it and now change the horizontal position to make it to the center of the product. Okay, perfect. I'm going to select this product, which is this one. Click on select and add the description if you want to add. So let's hit save and now let's preview it. And then after previewing it, we will do this for the third product, which we have showing up, right? So let's click on refresh and scroll down to the bottom. Here we have the lookbook section showing up. Looks cool, right? Now let's take a look at the mobile version of how it looks. So that's how the mobile version looks like. Image is a little skewed, but uh, I suggest you can add this section separately a different section for the mobile version. So I've created another tutorial on how you can display some sections on desktop and some sections on mobile, obviously, because image is uh, a little wide. And when you see it on the mobile version, it looks a little skewed, but you can create another section on the mobile version as well, right? So all you'll have to do is just add another section by clicking on add section add lookbook and add a different background image for your mobile version. Again, for displaying sections on desktop and mobile, I have another tutorial which you can find on my YouTube video. And all you have to do is just add in the piece of CSS code to hide that section on desktop and the other section on the mobile version. So you will have separate mobile section and separate desktop section. Now let's add in the third marker. So click on add product here. I'm going to delete this section and select this product block here. And now let's move the horizontal position. Change the vertical position. And now let's select the product. So that's the product. And click on save. Perfect. Our lookbook section has been created and you can see we can simply click on these markers which will take us to that product if we click on that product title 
cool right so that's it for the video guys um again a free section just for you guys don't forget to subscribe the channel and turn on the notification if you want to uh get notified for the free and attractive sections like this and more tips and tricks are coming on this channel some pretty exciting content which we have aligned just for you guys so make sure to subscribe the channel until next video have a great day